Sawmax reamers are high quality precision tools used to restore valve function and worn out transmissions. Keeping reamers free of aluminum buildup and storing them safely is key not only to making effective repairs, but also ensuring these tools last a long time. As you will see, it's fast and easy to keep them in top shape. Whenever a reamer is used to oversize a valve bore, tiny amounts of aluminum debris will attach themselves to the cutting edges. This buildup can't be brushed off, it's partially bonded to the tool. You can see the buildup if you hold the reamer under a loop. You can also feel for it by taking a penny and running it along a cutting edge. Even the slightest feel of grit means there's a problem. Debris may not always be present in large amounts and may be very hard to see, but over time it will accumulate. Too much buildup, like that on this reamer shown at magnification, will make it difficult or impossible for the tool to cut correctly. This is why you always want to check reamers after every use. If you see or suspect debris, you can quickly and easily clean the reamer with a fine grit diamond honing tool. This one available from Sonax is just right. Place the tool along one cutting edge of the reamer and draw it forward smoothly. Do that three to four times, then inspect the edge. This is where a loop can come in handy. If it's good, keep going around the reamer, cleaning off each cutting edge until all the aluminum buildup is removed. It only takes two to three minutes to clean up a single diameter reamer. With experience, you'll get a feel for when the debris is gone. The tool glides along with less effort than when you started. When you're done with the diamond hone, clean the abrasive off the flutes in a solvent tank or with low pressure compressed air. Lightly oil the reamer. The same oil you use for reaming is great to prevent corrosion. Put the reamer back in its protective case. Otherwise, they can roll around, get nicked and dull, etc. Multi-diameter reamers can be cleaned the same way. They just take a little more time because there are more edges to touch up. Just be sure to stay away from the guide nub. That is not a cutting edge. A question that comes up a lot is how often should a reamer be cleaned? It really comes down to the type of unit bore being reamed and your reaming technique. Warning signs of buildup can be, the chips look different, the reamer really has to be pushed on to get it to cut, or changing back test reading. If you're vacuum testing after every ream, which is a good practice, and you start to notice changing numbers off the same tool, that can be a sign that the reamer needs cleaning. If you're having trouble with reaming, give our tech support team a call. They're happy to work with you. Might be your technique is causing excessive buildup, or something else is going on we can help diagnose. The main thing to remember is that cleaning your reamer and making sure it's properly stored is well worth your time. It's the best way to ensure you get consistent performance and life out of Sonex tools.